guys hello and welcome to the liberal tv network uh, today is a regular press briefing they are the ministry of information culture and tourism i'm francis kd coming to your life keep following liberal tv network and like share and comment on our page good morning everybody let me start by welcoming all of you to the real province Charles William Conference Tour here at the Ministry of Information, Cultural Affairs and Tourism. The press briefing is a routine by the Ministry intended to keep the Nigerian public up to date on happenings in national government in all sectors. Today we are we have in our midst as our guest Mr. Abdullah Kamara. Mr. Abdullah Kamara of course is a chairperson of the Board of Commissions, IT chairperson of the Board of Commissions of the Liberia Telecommunication Authority. Mr. Kamara is flanked by IT Commissioner Patrick Pona. Of course, Patrick is a friend of the media who needs no introduction. They come here to talk about some very interesting issues surrounding the digital transformation. Digital transformation, as you know, forms a very cardinal part of the president's 100-day deliverable. And of course, last week, we climaxed the President 100 Day in office, and a lot of initiatives were outlined in the statement developed by the President. And what we at Makeup intend to do is to invite key actors from sector ministries and agencies that score very high mark as far as the President 100 Day delivery is concerned. So they are here today, but before we invite the LTA to the podium, I would like to make a few remarks on behalf of the ministry and the government of Liberia. As you may be aware, the president, His Excellency, Ambassador Joseph Mamboaka, and delegation departed the country uh, on Friday of last week for taxes in the United States of America to attend the U.S.-Africa Business Summit. Why the President is in the States? We intend to keep the Liberian people and the media up to date on the President's itinerary and activities, meetings that the President is attending on behalf of our country. So yesterday, the President had the privilege of being at the MCC breakfast to the CEO Albright. The president also toured the George W. Bush presidential library. The president had bilateral conversation with the president of the Republic of Kosovo. He also had bilateral conversation with our own Ambassador Lena Thomas Greenfield. I say our own because she has very strong historical ties with Liberia. So on today, Tuesday, the president is expected to deliver opening remarks at the opening section of the U.S. Africa Business Summit. The president will also be one of the panelists at the MCC presidential plenary. The president will also be a high-level dialogue for food industry, from food industry to trading agribusinesses. And then at the close of the day, the president will continue to ever represent the country. And I will work closely in line with the delegation 
the Minister of Information is traveling the president, the presidential press secretary is also traveling. We intend to keep the public up to date. So except or content of the president's statement at the opening session of the US Africa Business Summit will be provided to you members of the press as soon as possible. While the president is away, we witness uh, prior to his prior to his departure from the country, the president signed the landmark executive order 131, establishing the office of the War and Economic Crimes Court. That decision by the president has received warm felicitations from our international partners because that decision is in the right direction. So paramount among those commendations that we receive as a government is from the U.S. Embassy and the European Union mission in Liberia. They both commended the government of Liberia for executive order 131, establishing the office of the War and Economic Crimes Court for Liberia, which was signed by the president. Both the EU and the United States welcome the decision taken by the government and the legislature contributing to the implementation of the recommendation of the two a reconciliation commission. This decision to establish the War and Economic Crimes Court is also a victory for justice and reconciliation. It brings to an end the culture of impunity that has long over over our country. It has been 21 years since the Liberian Civil War ended. The question about war crime code has been lingering in the corridor of our body politics for 21 years. Government after government have intentionally, intentionally politicized the, the establishment of the war and economic crimes code. At some point, some of our friends who are today talking out loud in the opposition were carrying caskets at the very embassies around Morovia, requesting sanctions on official government because they refused to establish war and economic crime code. Contradictory, when they were given the mantle of authority to lead this country, they swept the establishment of the war and economic crime code on the carpet for reason best known to themselves. Today, the country is blessed to have a president who said, I am not going to do business as usual. And that suggests that we have to depart from the spoil system. And so in the first 100 days of the administration, a remarkable executive order was signed. The question that has been lingering for 21 years has been answered in the first 100 days of the Quagas presidency. So these commendations from our international partners are not worth it, and we thought it was important to throw light on them. Why the president is also away? On Friday of last week, a groundbreaking ceremony took place between the government of Liberia and the European Union for the construction and installation of two 33 kV electricity distribution network. The project marks a significant leap forward in Liberia and in Liberia's energy development journey and symbolizes the European Union's commitment to assisting the Liberian government in providing reliable, accessible, and affordable electricity throughout Liberia. The president has consistently said that we cannot grow the Liberian economy in the absence of electricity. The government is doing tremendously well. The president on his first visit outside the country went to the Republic of Cote d'Ivoire, had bilateral conversation with his counterpart, and the megawatt that was supplying to Liberia, 25 megawatts, was increased to 50. The president has not just stopped it. He's working with our international partners this time around 
This electricity expansion project will be across three major counties. Buchanan, Grand Bassa County, Greenville, Sandal County, and Bagdadale, Greenville County. So let me just give you a few synopsis of what is in store for these counties. For example, Buchanan, approximately 12,054 customers will be connected with 825 LED street lights installing the city streets of Buchanan. Greenville, over 4,344 households will be given legislative access with 200 street lights installed along the 43 kilometer transmission line route. Investment in the, pro in, the pro in the process. The projects are part of the EU rural electrification program worth 42 million euros, which will benefit almost 50,000 people in Buchanan, Greenville, and Bakersfield. <laughs> So, progress has been made in just 100 days. All of these things are happening. This is the government the Liberian people stood in long lines to vote for. This is a government that inherited a country that was almost that functional. This is a government that has a responsibility to rebrand a country that was considered an outcast by the international system just four months ago. But what are the progress that have been made? Some of our friends are helped them on distracting us. We listen to some of them saying, oh, they play like President Barack going in America, no African here that's still going there. The records for these things are available to everybody. There are five distinguished head of states, along with President Barker, I attended the US Africa Summit. Some of our other friends with the intention of deliberately distorting the facts. They said the presidential press secretary will be now visa by the US Embassy. Maybe they are a new visa counselor. The press secretary, Kula Kofama, is in the United States. As a matter of fact, she spoke to the people of Liberia. They are okay if they want to provide updates on the president's visit to the United States. We have to stop this thing, this spread mentality. This spread mentality that people see government as business as usual, come grab and go, and we don't have government job, we want the country to crumble. Because it must be you at all costs. Maybe we propose a forum to invite some other people to ask them what they want from this country. Just four months ago, you were here. Why are you didn't do what you want to do now? There's no vacancy in the executive mansion. We have a president who was elected for six years until that constitutional term expires. And the election commission announces vacancy for the presidency. Well, what will we apply when you reach a requirement? We will insist that we have the opportunity to govern the country that was in despair. The Liberian people need to be revived. And the Waka administration has no intention to deviate on that path. So guys, that was the voice of Deputy Minister of Technical Affairs at the Ministry of Information, Culture and Tourism, Honorable Dana Sandor.